describes what it feels like to debug, um, and especially debug a neural network, right? So you know, it doesn't compile, and then it doesn't link, and then it seg faults, and then it gives zeros, and then it gives the wrong answer. And then at the end of all of that, maybe, maybe if you're lucky, it finally works. Um, and I think this captures a common sentiment among practitioners of machine learning, which is that really, you know, um, and I, I think this was surprising to me joint, coming into the field, um, because I thought that you know I was spending 80 or 90 percent of my time training and debugging because um, you know I was I was new, but then I started working with the best people in the field, and I realized that you know even among top people, really most of your time is spent doing this, um, not you know deriving new math or thinking about neural network arch architectures or doing what a lot of people think of as the fun stuff. And so the first thing I want to go into is you know I want to talk about why this is true, right? Why is it so hard to troubleshoot neural networks? So suppose that you ha um, are trying to reproduce a result and you can't do it. So this is the learning curve from the original ResNet paper and maybe your learning curve looks something like this. So significantly worse, right? Um, and you might ask yourself, why is the performance of my model worse than the paper that I'm trying to reproduce? And one of the challenges is that there, there are many different things that could cause this. So it could be implementation bugs. And implementation bugs in deep learning are particularly challenging because most bugs in deep learning are actually invisible. Um, so this is a, a real example of a bug that I sort of lost like a day or two um, to. And so my, my learning curve looked like the one on the right, right? So it's basically just random. And um, this is the, the source of the bug. It's in these three lines of code here. Um, can anyone see what might have caused this bug that would make the learning rate, um, or the, the learning curve just sort of jump around? Files in the wrong folder? Files in the wrong folder? Um, not quite. So um, the labels are out of order, right? So I, this uh, Python function um, glob actually um, non-deterministically returns the the, all the files in a folder in like a random order. And so I was actually shuffling the labels. Um, and I didn't know that Glob did this um, when I wrote this code. And so you know, I lost like a day trying to find this bug. Um, so implementation bugs are particularly bad, but hyperparameter choices can also cause your performance to degrade. Um, models in deep learning are very sensitive to hyperparameters. So you know, um, learning rate is um, a big example where it's you know, very obvious if your learning rate is too high, sometimes your loss actually goes up. But it's, it can be more subtle as well. And so this is, um, this is learning curves from uh, the ResNet paper as well. And it shows the difference between using their custom weight initialization and then using the standard weight initialization. So if they found if they use the standard weight initialization, the model doesn't learn at all. Um, and so you know, very subtle choices can make a big difference. Performance could also be worse just because of data model fit, right? So, you know, we're reproducing a paper that was trained on ImageNet, and this is what the data from ImageNet looks like. But if our data is self-driving car images, who's to say whether our worst performance is because of a bug or whether it's just because our data itself is harder? And then finally, um, like poor model performance could be caused by, you know, nothing that has to do with your model at all. It could just be the data set construction. Um, and so this is a slide from um, Andre Karpathy that describes like the amount of sort of effort and angst that goes into you know data versus models in a PhD versus at Tesla, right? And so it's like the whole pie chart is models during your PhD because you're thinking about like how do we make this. Model